Sorry about that. Okay, let's finish up our lesson here. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to record as long as I want, but right now I'm stuck to that five minute interval. All right, so a cylinder has a volume 225 pi and a height one. All right, so now we know our volume, which would be 225 pi, and that's going to be equal to our radius squared, we don't know that, times pi times our height, which is one. So excuse me, this should actually be 225 pi. Sorry about that. So if you want to do some division here to cancel, obviously our pi's are going to cancel out. And then we have 225 is equal to 1 times r squared. Well, that's just r squared. That means we need to find the square root of 225, which I will do that on my calculator right now. And that would be 15. So that means our radius in this problem would be equal to 15. So what did we do there to start? We just used our formula volume is equal to pi r squared h. We knew the volume. We knew the height. We solved for the radius. All righty, last one here. Water bottle with height 8.1 and volume 103. And we're going to estimate 3.14 for pi. So our volume is 103. Our radius, we don't know. So I'll do r squared times pi, which is 3.14 and also times the height, which is 8.1. Oh, I'm running out of room. Okay, so um, on this one, we have 103 is equal to r squared times 3.14 times 8.1. So first I'm gonna do 8.1 times 3.14. And that is gonna be equal to um, 25.434, so we now have the equation 103 is equal to r squared times 25.434. All we got to do now is isolate the variable, so we got to divide by 25.434 on both sides. So we're going to do 103 divided by 25.434, which is equal to 4. 0.0496 is equal to r squared. And then we are going to simply take the square root of both numbers there. So we'll do the square root of 4.04. .04, and that would give us approximately 2. All right, so that means the radius here would be equal to 2. Awesome. All right. So now we just need to go down to our conclusion. So today we learned about finding the volumes of cylinders and also finding missing values in volume. What I'd like you guys to do today is write two sentences to make a conclusion out of this as if you were explaining it to a friend. Basically write down what you think um, is the importance from this and also what you took from it. And then don't forget to have those two questions for class tomorrow. All righty, everybody. I'll see you in class. You have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye, y'all.